Hi, my name is Chris Ryan. You've joined me here at the Belfry. We're in the Talamo Performance Centre. And in this video, we're looking at the driver setup and we're going to go through a routine that you can do, which is going to help you address the golf ball much better. In the corner of the screen, you should have also the details for my social media accounts. You've got Facebook, you've got Twitter, and you've got Instagram. So please make sure you also follow me on those. So we're talking specifically about the driver. And this is different to the other golf clubs because of where the ball is located relative to you. It's going to be a lot more up in the stance and therefore we tend to see that causing golfers a lot more issues. We tend to see shoulders which tend to point more left of target for a right-handed golfer and we tend to see the handle a little bit too far back. So if I take my setup facing the camera here, it would not be uncommon to see setups where the ball looks well positioned relative to the body but you can see how the hands are quite a long way back. Certainly this would be more of a, a vertical club shaft which is what we'd be after. But as I say, hands being back is quite common. And we also tend to see that with, I say, open shoulders because the golf ball is a bit too far forward. Now, what we tend to find is when the handle is too far back, naturally the golf club tends to point more left of target. That's if we let that club sit on the ground. So therefore, we've either got to set it where the club points left, or we have to try and manipulate that golf club and twist it at setup to get it to point more at your target. But ultimately, this is not the most consistent way to set up. Those golfers who do set up with the club face pointing left due to the handle being back are often going to find they swing further left in an attempt to get that ball to curve towards the target. So there's quite a few reasons why we'd like to start with this club shaft a little bit more neutral as opposed to being a little bit too far back. And this is where the drill or the routine comes in. I want you to think about how you're addressing the golf ball and think about the routine that you're using. So what I would like you to try and do is build the stance around the golf club as opposed to building the stance and then moving the golf club in. So let's go through first what I would like to get you to avoid. So this is one where I'm actually going to set up and build my stance before I set the golf club. So I've got my target out there and I'm going to walk in and I'm going to set my stance and then I'm going to put the club down. Now from my eye line that club shaft looks pretty vertical because my eyes are here I'm looking straight down the golf club that looks vertical I can also see how the golf club to me looks square but it's actually quite shut it's pointing a lot more left and that's because my hands are behind the golf ball so that's really the issue your head is positioned a lot more behind the golf ball and that throws off often the pers uh, perspective and we can start to get a bit confused with what is square what is neutral etc etc so this is what I'd like you to try and do I'd like you to try and set up initially with the golf club and build the stance around that. So it's going to look a little bit more like this. What I would want to do is I would walk in and I've now got my head directly in line with that golf ball. What I can now do is I can now place the golf club in with a club face which is square and a club shaft which to me looks neutral. So my viewpoint now is I'm looking straight at that golf club that looks pretty neutral. What I can now do is take my grip. I can now make sure that I don't move that grip but I now build my stance around the golf club. So you can see how from that angle there, the club shaft is a lot closer to a more vertical position. It's a lot more neutral. That tells me that the club face is also a lot more neutral. Now, because my head is set some six to eight inches behind the golf ball, as I look down, that's a very different view for me. That looks almost as if there's some lean forward in the handle. There isn't, it's just the view that I'm looking at this from. So the routine that we use can greatly influence how we set up. I see Sergio Garcia do this quite often. You'll notice as he walks in, he's got his feet very close and he puts the golf club in. What he then does, he places his hands and he builds his stance around that. And for me, I would see a lot more success with golfers doing that. So being aware of this initial problem is stage one. But then stage two is really trying to find a process or a routine that's going to help you achieve a better setup and not fall into those bad habits. So let me go ahead and hit this one. I'm going to use that process, set up the right way, and hopefully I'll get a more neutral shaft, and that will help me hit that ball much closer to my target. So that feels pretty good. I can now go ahead and hit it. And certainly that was a very, very good drive, pretty straight. I'd be very happy with that. So let's make sure we aren't setting up with the handle back, with the face closed, and we can do this by changing our routine. Think about how you're addressing the golf ball, think about how you do that, the routine that you use, 
practice it, get comfortable with it, and hopefully you'll set yourself up better and hopefully hit some shots like that one. Thank you very much for watching. Usual stuff down below, you've got a comments box, you've got a like button, and you've also got a link to subscribe to my channel. There is loads more content on there, over 240 videos now, and there's more going up weekly, so please make sure you subscribe and get first access to those videos. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again next time.